Melissa. Hey, we are going to start by looking at that rain that we're expecting to come through. Possible thunderstorms as well. Right now, we're clear overhead, but as we move into the afternoon, we start to see that rain moves over our area. After three, four, five, six, we see the heaviest parts of this expected rain and thunderstorm. Um, and then as it continues into the evening, starts to move out, but seven, eight, when uh, high school football games will be going on, we do expect that there will still be some lingering showers, chance of thunder, especially in our south, southeastern areas as it moves that direction. Now a look uh, after that, of course, we clear up and really clear all into Saturday, except for uh, there's some fog expected to come back around tomorrow morning. Now 6 and 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., dense fog is expected tomorrow morning, and that's going to limit visibility, of course. Now 10 a.m. starts to lighten up a little bit, just normal fog, 10 a.m., and then from there we do clear out. 11, 12 p.m. Now um, on Saturday, we're expecting to have our Notre Dame home game. 3.30 p.m. is the kickoff, and it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. We've got full sun, um, temperature of 88 degrees, and it's definitely going to be a beautiful day. Now this is a look after Saturday into Sunday where we're expecting some rain to come back around. This is 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We start to see a lot of cloud cover there, but rain is coming over the area. About uh, 4 p.m. on Sunday, we're seeing some pretty significant effects in the area. I mean, just rain, but a lot of uh, Michiana will be seeing some rain coverage there. Now, clears up for just a second, 4 or 5, and then at 8 p.m. again, we start to see some rain coming over the area and definitely some chances of some thunderstorms as well. Moves out there into Monday, um, and it will clear up a little bit Monday, but we are expecting some rain to come back around later in the day on Monday. Now, let's not forget our air quality alert that we have today. Um, it started yesterday, continues in today for um, all of these areas highlighted in gray. <clears throat> now, uh, with these air quality uh, alerts, we're going to want to remember that sensitive groups like elderly and younger kids, as well as people with um, health concerns, should limit their time outdoors. Our burn bans in our areas, they're effective in all of these counties and St. Joe, Michigan City, Knox, Rochester, Warsaw should all be aware of those burn bans. And then finally, we're looking at our drought monitor. Um, every county in Michigan is under at least a moderate drought and uh, that should be noted as you continue to look at those burn bans. We will be back in just a minute with the 10 day forecast. The village at Arborwood is carefree living with optional services, engaging activities, and a break from routine home maintenance, all in a warm, welcoming community where you can be comfortable, be inspired, and be yourself. There are many opportunities to foster new friendships and continue to enjoy activities with family and friends. We invite you to visit the village at Arborwood and discover a community where your well-being, friendships, and independence are celebrated. Mm -hmm. All right, we are looking at our 10-day forecast. Today we're seeing rain, but it is much needed, so nobody's upset about it. Tomorrow, Notre Dame game, rain moves out. We're going to have a beautiful day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, chances of rain again, 40% there on Sunday. Monday, 20% there on Tuesday. Now into next week, temperatures cool down into the mid-70s, and then they do eventually start to work warm back up into next weekend. But I know I am excited about that Notre Dame game. Beautiful day out there. It is. It's going yeah. to shape.